Hi, Dr. Fred Domenico of Elite Coaching, and this is step five. I was gonna do two hands. Five, one in each hand. Uh, seven steps to mastering change. Now, hey, why are we doing this? Because, man, you wanna create a lifetime patient? Then, in my opinion, you gotta see yourself as a self-empowerment coach first, then a chiropractor. You wanna create a lifelong patient, you gotta create a massive mindset shift. And the way to create a massive mindset shift is to get them through past or limiting beliefs into a self-empowered state so they can take self-empowered action. Isn't that really, isn't that really what this is all about? So step five, what's step one? Understand their world, we gotta have a common reference point. Step two, create a base, create leverage, that's to have to take responsibility. Step three, if you guys have been following this series, pattern interruption, man, interrupt their pattern. Step four, redefine the problem. So once we interrupt the pattern, we get a common reference point, they take responsibility, we create a pattern interruption, now we redefine the problem, help them see from a new perspective. Step five, condition a new state. What's that mean? You're gonna introduce them into the self-empowered state. So here's where the first four steps, or three steps is clearing out all the garbage, right? Step four is a transition. Step five, we're taking them into a new state. So we go down the horseshoe. Hey, we're blowing out those limiting beliefs, man. Now we're gonna, we're turning up the other side and we're conditioning a new state. Really important. So how do we do this? Well, where do we do it? Well, it can start in the consultation. See, in the consultation, you're understanding their world. You are helping them take responsibility for their organ problems. You are creating you are blown out, uh, interrupting the pattern in the consultation, and you're actually reframing, redefining the problem. So you can go through all four steps in the consultation. Now, when you need to, see, you need to know these steps so well that you're you're hitting those steps wherever you need it with the person. You gotta know these steps so well that it's a feeling in your body. You connect with them, you put yourself in their shoes, and you feel what they need. So step five in a consult, how do you apply step five in a consult? We well, get that one example off the top of my head and get that person with asthma. And maybe they, you know, where they, they were that kid where they always picked last or, you know, whenever they had uh, exercise induced asthma. So whenever they run around the neighborhood, they had to carry their inhaler and, you know, they just felt weaker than everybody else. And so you're really getting into the emotion of that in a consultation. And step five, introduce a new state. So Jim, Jimmy, whatever his name is, Mikey, um, how would that feel? to have a strong, healthy body where you knew you could exert your body and you felt strength and your lungs were strong. How would that feel? And you go, wow, that's amazing. See, here's the problem we make is we help people too fast. So you can't help a person until you actually, they invest in the program and they follow your recommendations. Investing in the program sometimes isn't even enough because they may not follow the recommendations. See, there's ways to do all this and that's in our lead coaching system. However, you can't tell a person you're going to help them too fast. Because if you do that, in a, in a way, if you give them hope too fast, human behavior says, then it takes the problem away, and then all of a sudden they start making thinking errors. So sometimes when you introduce a new state, you would give them the feeling in their body, and you'd give them that inspiration, and you pull out that emotional resource. But if you help them too fast, you almost eliminate that problem, right? You almost eliminate the problem and then all of a sudden they make a thinking error. So in a consultation, you're not gonna tell them you can help them, but you'd say, what would that feel like? So what you're doing is you're bringing out that emotional resource. Am I making sense? See, in coaching, we have, we have a whole spectrum of emotional resources, and people come in neurologically wired on these couple resources, but they don't realize that they have all these over here. So redefining step four and then introducing a new state brings out a more empowered resource. That's why people get stuck. They're not using that empowered resource that's, that's inside them. But see, when we see that and when we can bring it out, now they're going to experience and feel it in their body. That's what a great coach does. It takes them through that cycle. Now you can say, well, how would that feel to have confidence in the strength of your body and know that you're not a prisoner to that inhaler anymore? So you speak emotional language. Wow, that would be amazing. What's another example? We already have this plugged into the system. By the time they go through day one, day two, we take the stress x-ray, bring them into a workshop. 
right? There's multiple slides in the workshop that are geared for reframing. And, and towards the end of the workshop, you're introducing the new state, right? So there's a slide on there that shows abnormal trunk posture. Uh, causes problems with the relationships. What's that mean? What are they now? What are they buying? They're buying a great marriage. How many people know? Raise your hand. Know that um, fatigue and sickness causes problems in a marriage. It affects the financial security. Also shows that people with abnormal trunk posture make less money. They're less financially successful. Right. So how many people are tired of being sick and tired? How many people know that being sick and tired affects intimacy in a marriage? What would it be like at the end of the day that a husband and wife still has energy for each other? How would that affect the quality of your marriage? See, that's introducing a new state. That's redefining a problem. What would that feel like to know at the end of the day that you have enough energy to be eager towards each other? Right? That's introducing a new state. How many people would like a little more of that? Raise your hand. So there's, see, there's multiple opportunities way before you get to the commitment to introduce them to a new state. You show them their problem, introduce them to something better. See, now they're seeing both and they begin to gravitate towards that positive result. They feel the pain and suffering, right? Take them through the first three steps, put them in the middle, then introduce the new state. Now we already have this in the system because after the workshop, then we introduce 20 to 30 year health and life goals. If you're going to create a life patient, control their focus. Now you talk about their values, right? We're going to go through that. That's actually step seven. So you're introducing a new state. You're having them write their goals and say, Hey, this is what I want. See, that's one of the major, there's six, six, there's six objections that every person has to buy something. Will it get me what I want? Well, how do you overcome that objection? Well, they have to know what they want. That's why we have 20 to 30 year health and life goals. Somebody thought about this. You know what I mean? When you look at human behavior and you look at all the major objections and then you put in the system to handle those objections in advance so you don't have to listen to it when they're sitting there telling you or not telling you. It's already in the system. This is a life coaching system for spinal correction. That's why elite clients have a high close rate. They get the most value, right? Cash isn't a problem. Why? because we take people through the emotional system. So step five, introduce a new state. It's a higher emotional state. You guys getting the basic idea here? So understand their world, give them responsibility, interrupt the pattern, redefine the problem. Now introduce that new empowered state. We're beginning the next phase that these are step five, step six, step seven are all about an empowered state. So once you get people into an empowered state, now they're ready for time and money. Now they're ready for empowered action. Step five is the beginning of the other side of that horseshoe. We're making our way up into a powerful, inspirational state. So you introduce it and then we're going to go to the next step, step six, and then the next one, step seven. Now you'll see how to get them into a peak state for empowered action. All right, you guys, stick with this. Watch this again. Get it over and over. Share it. Why? Because you are the best empowered coach leading to the best chiropractor. Thanks.